All right, guys. Today I'm gonna talk about uh, subliminals and the the reason for subliminals. What is the reason for subliminals? Why put the twin towers all over all the television shows and movies and comics and advertisements? Why do that? That there's more than one way to look at something, and this is kind of an example of that. Some people out there say that the subliminal messages are a way to kind of show you the future, a way for the elites to communicate um, a future plans. Some people say that the subliminals are a part of witchcraft, magic ritualistic witchcraft. And we're taught that magic is hocus pocus uh, wands and uh, magic potions and spells and stuff like that but uh, I, I think magic does exist and I, I don't think it exists in the way that we are taught I think it exists in a purely unconsciousness way basically what I'm asking you guys to do is to look at this um, from every angle possible why what is the point what is the point of subliminals like I said, some people say that it's to uh, communicate with the elite. I mean, why would you need to communicate a Twin Tower message for decades? So that, to me, just doesn't sound right. But that's my opinion. Another person has said that it is a form of witchcraft. They want to tell you their plans before they do it. It's kind of like in the movies when the guy is down. He's got a gun pointed at his head. And he turns to the guy who's got the gun pointed at him. And he says, I'm going to kill you. And then he turns around and kills him. It's uh, kind of like that. They have to tell you their plans ahead of time in order for the spell or in order for the sacrifice, in order for the witchcraft to have any power. In order for it to work, they have to tell you what they're going to do before they do it. That kind of makes sense. Um, now, a way that I've been looking at it here lately is what if the magic is the subconscious mind? What if the elites know that the collective consciousness of the world can alter the perception of reality. What if they knew that because we were watching these subliminals that we were creating our own reality? Because when you think about it, the reality that we have does not exist without the mind, without the conscious mind. So how would you manipulate reality? By manipulating the conscious mind. So I think that that might be the uh, another way to look at it anyways, but to me that, that seems to be the most sinister one. And it's most sinister because, it's, because we are all participating. Everybody in the truth movement is participating, whether they know it or not. And everybody who's watching TV or movies is, is uh, passively participating in this. And I think that this may be a real thing. I think that, you know, there are numerous studies out there where something happens in one country and it affects people in another country. Or there was this report of this uh, picture being shown with, with hundreds of faces on it, but they were hidden in this picture with like nine or ten faces and people only saw the nine or ten faces and then when they explained to people in another country that there was ten, uh, hundreds of hidden faces the people in the in another country who were getting the same exper uh, experiment suddenly saw the other faces it's kind of like a collective conscience this is why I say that you know the reason why so many Americans are depressed I mean think about it you really don't have any problems in this country you're not you know you're not living in the dirt drinking mud water you have no real problems um, and yet depression is an epidemic in America. Why? I think it's because collectively the consciousness of the world is depressed. Uh, and we live in a depressed world. Um, a world that is just completely counterintuitive uh, to being a human. Um, with this greed and this just killing and, and just ridiculous stupidity. So I think that's why we're all depressed. I think that's why there are so many people who are depressed. <clears throat> And it's uh, just simply because there is so much depression in the world. 
Because really, in your own personal life, there's nothing to be depressed about. If when you think about it, just somebody out there has got it ten times worse than you do. And you sit there and you'll you'll make you'll make your meal or whatever. You'll sit there and you'll make a meal for thirty minutes and you'll drop it from the stove to the floor and and you know the, your world has come to an end. You cuss God and you throw stuff and you you're just so pissed off. But you know what? There's somebody out there who would eat that food right off your floor. So don't think for a minute that you got it bad because you don't. But anyways, that's that's uh, I digress. I know, um, but that's what that's my take on the collective consciousness when it comes to depression and when it comes to these subliminal messages. That's my personal take. Um, you don't have to believe that, um, and if you do believe that, then it kind of falls on. I understand that kind of falls onto your shoulders, and, and it kind of makes you feel guilty. But at the same time, if this is what's going on, we don't need to shriek from it. We need to talk about it. I had a bunch of tabs up here, but I just kind of went on rambling. Oh, so yeah, maybe maybe it's us actually, I don't know, visualizing these things that, that causes them to happen. Uh, and I'm just going to make this, I guess, part two of this video. Because this doesn't really deserve its own video. Um, I, this is just a, uh, for somebody out there in the comments who left me a comment. Snowden uh, served more purposes than just one, and that's pretty much what they do whenever they release information or do something. Chemtrails have more than one purposes. There's a purpose, I mean, you could list uh, purposes for chemtrails, mind control, um, genetically uh, modified seeds, um, Monsanto's uh, aluminum se uh, resistant seeds, you've got um, population control, weather modification, I mean, there's tons of reasons for just one thing. So when it comes to Snowden, there's tons of reasons. And I think the main reason is is that the mainstream media was losing all credibility. Um, people were looking at alternative news more than they were looking at mainstream news. So when they put this out, it kind of like, hey, look at us. We're, we've got credibility. You know. At the same time, everything that Snowden has told us, we already had at our fingertips. At the Google search bar, anybody could have found this stuff out for themselves. It's public knowledge. The man didn't tell us anything. He's uh, an actor, as far as I'm concerned. It's the same story with this. Obama's uh, approval rating had dropped to an all-time low of like 12%. And the next day, they killed Osama bin Laden. Surprise, surprise. Of course, they dumped the body in the ocean, never took a picture or video or nothing. But anyways, they, uh, this is how they work, man. This is how they work. Anytime something starts losing credibility, they'll do whatever they have to do to get it back. So the NSA was just a pawn, and they sacrificed that pawn to keep their king alive, and their king is the mainstream media. So that's how they work. They, they you know, you're playing, you know, I don't want to, I don't mean to sound like I'm downing you, but you're playing checkers, man. You're not... You're not thinking like them. You gotta think like them in, in order to understand what they're doing. We are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other great publications whose directors have attended our meetings and respected their promises of discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subjected to the light of publicity during those years. But now the world is more sophisticated and prepared to march towards a world government. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers is surely preferable to the national auto-determination practiced in past centuries. David Rockefeller Thanks for listening.